This morning, I'm very pleased to be speaking with Danny Huh of Neo Battery Materials. And Danny, I think you have some news for us today about your company. Please go ahead. Yes, uh, pleased to be here, Jack, in this investor uh, interview. So yes, we have been able to establish a milestone agreement called the Joint Development Agreement with the Fortune Global 500 Chemical Materials Company. So with this company, we are going to be developing advanced chemical coatings that will enhance the performance of our silicon anode products within lithium ion batteries. So in this chemical company, unfortunately, we can't reveal the name, but it has annual recurring revenues of tens of multi-billion dollars uh, within USD. And uh, this company is especially known for uh, their chemicals that they supply to various different companies in which they operate in over 50 countries so far as we know of. So with this company, uh, the advanced chemical coatings will enable the silicon to uh, not lose its structure when it goes through battery cycling. And that is the most important part in keeping the structural durability of silicon within the battery. So once we do develop a preliminary product that is viable for use, we will be co-marketing the silicon anode product to the downstream customers, which include global battery cell manufacturers, as well as automotive OEMs. And we're especially excited to utilize their resources as well as their expertise in chemical materials development to accelerate our commercialization process for NEO's silicon anodes. Uh, that's uh, very good news for your company and for yes. Detroit, uh, be because I, 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 of course, am not going to reveal anything, but I, I figured out who your your new partner is, and I'm, I'm extremely impressed. It, I think your company is doing exactly the right thing. And and I, I think it's important for the public to understand that your technology is not exotic. It's it's really bread and butter chemistry, and it, it and your sourcing of raw materials, uh, which I understand is ultimately uh, currently produced scrap, is out is an outstanding source because it's a low cost source. So could you briefly describe for us? the improvement in batteries that would be caused by using your product. Yes, so to give you straight off, right off the bat, the three main advantages of using Neo silicon anode technology is that we can increase the driving range as our materials has a 60 to 70% higher capacity compared to our competitors. And the second advantage is that we can enable ultra fast charging characteristics for any types of batteries. And specifically by using our unique manufacturing process, we can actually produce our silicon anode materials for approximately 60 to 80% cheaper compared to what our competitors can manufacture in the field today. So essentially what we do is we kill three birds with one stone and you don't see a technology too much like that in the field today, but that is what we are currently pursuing and optimizing for our battery materials project. Uh, let me, let me play devil's advocate as if I'm sitting in a, <laughs> in the purchasing department of an OEM. What kind of CapEx am I looking at, Danny? How is this going to be a hugely expensive factory to, to produce your product? Uh, the, answer, the simple answer here is no. And the reason behind why I say no is because our manufacturing process, it actually does not use the conventional high temperature, high pressure methods in mm -hmm. which they are very expensive to build out. However, we use more of a petrochemical refining process in which this is a wet-based process. And this technology has been known for I don't know, 50 to 100 years. And that is the technology that we use. So the CapEx for our facility is actually very cheap relative to our competitors. And just to give you a ballpark of numbers, we are planning to have our first phase capacity of just around 240 tons of materials per year. 
And this would just cost us, with including the construction of the overall facility, just about 15 to 18 million Canadian dollars. And 240 tons would allow us to supply to at least about 50,000 electric vehicles. And But not only are we stopping just at uh, 240 tons, but we're scaling that up to 5,000 tons. And 5,000 tons, we believe, would cost just around 80 million Canadian dollars. And I multiply by 20, that'll do a million electric vehicles, correct? That that capacity? Yes, of course. Okay. Yes, oh, that is correct. <laughs> my multiplication is correct. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that you, uh, you've covered all the boxes, really, because you're using legacy technology, my favorite, Okay, and and you are addressing a direct need of the OEM automotive industry, uh, which which is to ext extend the range of the cars without extending the cost. Uh, yes. So so you're 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 in the are you in the process of building that first demonstration plant, the 250 tons? Uh, yes and no. Uh, right now in South Korea, we currently have a demo facility that is capable of producing four tons of materials per year okay. based on continuous okay. production, so 24-7 okay. hours uh, operation. Yep. But for the 240 tons per year plant, we actually want to start in Canada first. So mm -hmm. we are in the final process of uh, securing land to build out this plant. And we believe that we still need that time to optimize our products. And finally, I'm going to bring up the, the most feared word in uh, the entire mining space. Are you co-marketing this with your new partner? To the to the OEMs, or are you directly marketing? So we can co-market and directly market. So mm -hmm. there's two avenues to just purchase the materials that we have produced together with this big player, or we can sell directly. However, as this company is not too focused on bringing anno materials or selling anno, including anno materials into their product portfolio, uh, it seems more likely that we will be licensing or purchasing the materials directly from this company and directly selling to the global battery cell or automotive manufacturers, but also co-marketing is also an option as well. Okay, well, thank you, uh, Danny. I think I think uh, we've learned quite a bit about your company. And again, <laughs> I, I'm, I am very impressed by what you're doing. I, I think that in the real commercial world, in which you are cited, that you're you're doing exactly the right thing. So thank you, thank you for this. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jack.